they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Hi guys, welcome to my channel and I'm Madushi again. So today I'm going to tell you how to read the research article and if you want to survive in graduate school or even after that if you want to be a scientist or a researcher or you want to join an academic session you need to read the research article and really important if you want to survive in graduate school basically you need to know how to read the research article. Funny thing is no one tell you how to do that like it's there's no course like that so how to read the research article no no no. So the thing is you need to find out a way. So the first year I was really struggled with that like this language is boring and the, um, everything is doesn't make any sense and things like that so um, uh, I need to come up with a strategy that actually worked for me. This is how I'm doing it and actually worked for me and most of the time it's worked for me and I will share with you you guys uh, if you really enjoy this video please thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. And let's see how we actually going to do that. The thing is, first you need to take the research article. You can have a hard copy or soft copy, it doesn't matter. Then read the title and go ahead for the abstract section. So the abstract is they are going to uh, give you the whole story in a short way. So make sure to read this abstract. It's like they are going to try to sell, tell you a story, but it's like um, in a scientific way. So this, even if it's in English, this is not understandable if you don't know any scientific words. So before that, you need to know all the scientific words, like um, the related to the subject area. Not all, maybe some. For example, they will say PCR, NMR, uh, spectrophotometer, like stuff, then you need to know what they're talking about. Or primers like that you need to know what actually they are talking about so they nobody's going to tell you that and that abstract section they will tell you what is actually the story behind it in a simple way and uh, then find out what is actually they want to tackle or what is the actual question what is actual problem in here so write it down what is the problem what is the problem they want to tackle and then then you have the introduction section. I usually skip the introduction section. Mm, you can read it, but if you don't like, you can skip it. I usually skip it and go ahead for the method section. And the method section is really important because that's where you will find out how they actually tackle the problem. So first you know what is the problem and the second you need to know how they actually tackle it and what are the methods they use and go thorough in the method section and each step they did and find out how they did that like basically you need to go thorough on the method section and each sentence each word is really important so write it down in your own words and what they actually did to tackle the problem and then go to the discussion section and you will find out figures in there there are so many figures figures are really important figures are telling you that's actually data maybe they can be a table so they may be a, a gel images or computer images they got like that stuff so go through all the figures they are really important because they are the results they got so go through each and every figure and read the figure legend and if you can't understand figure legend and in the discussion section somewhere they will talk about it so and find out which areas that like for example like the figure do blah 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 like that so you just need to read that part only and you will understand how what actually they want to say or what they actually find out figure three they said blah blah blah, blah like that so go ahead and read that stuff and write a small note okay figure two is saying this and that I like that and go to the uh, figure 3 and 4 like that and finally read the conclusion and uh, see whether they actually tackle the problem or not or what are the other problem they actually have or what are their future plans like that so sometimes it's important to know their future plans or their um, um, improvements or the like that so that's actually the conclusion 
section so you need to read that one and you have a small paper with the question and uh, how they actually going to tackle that problem and finally whether they tackle it or not actually how we how they did that sometimes this method is not work not working reason is if you are reading a um, review article or something like that they don't have a method section they're basically telling you the things they did for the past few years not uh, related to that area for example type 1 diabetes review article so all the research they the people did related to that area like that so they're not basically telling you uh, what is the method they use or how they did that but they're telling you that how the evaluation how it progressed the research stuff like that so in that kind of papers this method is doesn't work going to work other than that usually this method is going to work for all the other type of research article because you need to know on the what is the actual problem they are and how they're going to tackle that problem at the end whether they tackle it or not yeah i hope you enjoy the video if you really enjoy my video please thumbs up and make sure to subscribe